Welcome to A Plus Health Life channel. We discuss the ways to fulfill your life with more quality and inform you on ways to get to your life goals with less effort. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. When you smoke, the poisons from the tar in your cigarettes enter your blood. These poisons in your blood then make your blood thicker and increase chances of clot formation increase your blood pressure and heart rate making your heart work harder than normal narrow your arteries reducing the amount of oxygen rich blood circulating to your organs together these changes to your body when you smoke increase the chance of your arteries narrowing and clots forming which can cause a heart attack or stroke heart smoking damages your heart and your blood circulation increasing the risk of conditions such as coronary heart disease heart attack stroke peripheral vascular disease damaged blood vessels and cerebrovascular disease damaged arteries that supply blood to your brain carbon monoxide from the smoke and nicotine both put a strain on the heart by making it work faster they also increase your risk of blood clots other chemicals in cigarette smoke damage the lining of your coronary arteries leading to furring of the arteries in fact smoking doubles your risk of having a heart attack and if you smoke you have twice the risk of dying from coronary heart disease than lifetime non-smokers. The good news is that after only one year of not smoking, your risk is reduced by half. After stopping for 15 years, your risk is similar to that of someone who has never smoked. Stomach smokers have an increased chance of getting stomach cancer or ulcers. Smoking can weaken the muscle that controls the lower end of your gullet esophagus and allow acid from the stomach to travel in the wrong direction back up your gullet, a process known as reflux. Smoking is a significant risk factor for developing kidney cancer, and the more you smoke the greater the risk. For example, research has shown that if you regularly smoke 10 cigarettes a day, you are one and a half times more likely to develop kidney cancer compared with a non-smoker. This is increased to twice as likely if you smoke 20 or more cigarettes a day. Skin smoking reduces the amount of oxygen that gets to your skin. This means that if you smoke, your skin ages more quickly and looks gray and dull. The toxins in your body also cause cellulite. Smoking prematurely ages your skin by between 10 and 20 years, and makes it three times more likely you'll get facial wrinkling, particularly around the eyes and mouth. Smoking even gives you a sallow, yellow-gray complexion and hollow cheeks, which can cause you to look gaunt. The good news is that once you stop smoking, you will prevent further deterioration to your skin caused by smoking. Bone smoking can cause your bones to become weak and brittle. Women need to be especially careful as they are more likely to suffer from brittle bones osteoporosis, than non-smokers. Brain if you smoke you are more likely to have a stroke than someone who doesn't smoke. In fact, smoking increases your risk of having a stroke by at least 50%, which can cause brain damage and death. And, by smoking, you double your risk of dying from a stroke. One way that smoking can increase your risk of a stroke is by increasing your chances of developing a brain aneurysm. This is a bulge in a blood vessel caused by a weakness in the blood vessel wall. This can rupture or burst which will lead to an extremely serious condition known as a subarachnoid hemorrhage, which is a type of stroke, and can cause extensive brain damage and death. The good news is that within two years of stopping smoking, your risk of stroke is reduced to half that of a smoker and within five years it will be the same as a non-smoker. Lungs Your lungs can be very badly affected by smoking. Coughs, colds, wheezing and asthma are just the start. Smoking can cause fatal diseases such as pneumonia, emphysema and lung cancer. Smoking causes 84% of deaths from lung cancer and 83% of deaths from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD. COPD, a progressive and debilitating disease, is the name for a collection of lung diseases including chronic bronchitis and emphysema. People with COPD have difficulties breathing, primarily due to the narrowing of their airways and destruction of lung tissue. Typical symptoms of COPD include increasing breathlessness when active, a persistent cough with phlegm and frequent chest infections. Whilst the early signs of COPD can often be dismissed as a smoker's cough, 
If people continue smoking and the condition worsens, it can greatly impact on their quality of life. You can slow down the progression of the disease and stopping smoking is the most effective way to do this. Mouth and throat smoking causes unattractive problems, such as bad breath and stained teeth, and can also cause gum disease, damage your sense of taste and can lead to oral thrush. The most serious damage smoking causes in your mouth and throat is an increased risk of cancer in your lips, tongue, throat, voice box and gullet esophagus. More than 93% of oropharyngeal cancers, cancer in part of the throat, are caused by smoking. The good news is that when you stop using tobacco, even after many years of use, you can greatly reduce your risk of developing head and neck cancer. Once you've been smoke-free for 20 years, your risk of head and neck cancer is reduced to that of a non-smoker. Reproduction and fertility smoking can cause male impotence, as it damages the blood vessels that supply blood to the penis. It can also damage sperm, reduce sperm count and cause testicular cancer. Up to 120,000 men from the UK in their 20s and 30s are impotent as a direct result of smoking, and men who smoke have a lower sperm count than those who are non-smokers. For women, smoking can reduce fertility. One study found that smokers were over three times more likely than non-smokers to have taken more than one year to conceive. The study estimated that the fertility of smoking women was 72% that of non-smokers. Smoking also increases your risk of cervical cancer. People who smoke are less able to get rid of the HPV infection from the body, which can develop into cancer. Smoking while you are pregnant can lead to miscarriage, premature birth, stillbirth and illness, and it increases the risk of cot death by at least 25%. How smoking and nicotine damage your body. You probably know about the relationship between smoking and lung cancer, but did you know smoking is also linked to heart disease, stroke and other chronic diseases? Smoking can increase your risk for cancer of the bladder, throat, mouth, kidneys, cervix and pancreas. Thinking about quitting. Look at the facts. Why should you quit? Smoking is the most preventable cause of death in the United States. Almost one-third of deaths from coronary heart disease are due to smoking and secondhand smoke. Smoking is linked to about 90% of lung cancer cases in the United States. Smoking rates overall are down, but too many adults still smoke, vape and use other forms of tobacco, especially between the ages of 21 and 34. About half of U.S. children ages 3 to 11 are exposed to secondhand smoke. On average, smokers die more than 10 years earlier than non-smokers. You can be one of the millions of people who successfully quit every year. What makes cigarettes so toxic and dangerous? There are more than 5,000 chemical components found in cigarette smoke and hundreds of them are harmful to human health, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Here are a few examples. 1. 3-butadiene is a chemical used to manufacture rubber. It is considered to be a carcinogenic chemical that can cause certain blood cancers. Arsenic is used to preserve wood. Some arsenic compounds have been linked to cancer of the lung, skin, liver, and bladder. Benzene is used to manufacture other chemicals. It can cause cancer, particularly leukemia, in humans. Cadmium is a metal used to make batteries. Cadmium and cadmium compounds can cause lung cancer and have been associated with kidney and prostate cancer. Chromium V is used to make alloy metals, paint and dyes. Chromium V compounds cause lung cancer and have been associated with cancer of the nose and nasal sinuses. Formaldehyde is used to make other chemicals and resins. It is also used as a preservative. Formaldehyde causes leukemia and cancer in respiratory tissues. Polonium-210 is a radioactive element that has been shown to cause cancer in animals. Tar is not one single chemical, instead it describes several chemicals that are in tobacco smoke. It leaves a sticky, brown residue on your lungs, teeth and fingernails. Carbon monoxide and nicotine. A dangerous duo carbon monoxide is a harmful gas you inhale when you smoke. Once in your lungs, it's transferred to your bloodstream. Carbon monoxide decreases the amount of oxygen that is carried in the red blood cells. 
It also increases the amount of cholesterol that is deposited into the inner lining of the arteries which, over time, can cause the arteries to harden. This leads to heart disease, artery disease and possibly heart attack. Nicotine is a dangerous and highly addictive chemical. It can cause an increase in blood pressure, heart rate, flow of blood to the heart and a narrowing of the arteries, vessels that carry blood. Nicotine may also contribute to the hardening of the arterial walls, which in turn, may lead to a heart attack. This chemical can stay in your body for 6 to 8 hours depending on how often you smoke. Also, as with most addictive substances, there are some side effects of withdrawal. And some e-cigarettes and newer tobacco products deliver even more nicotine than traditional cigarettes. Secondhand smoke smokers aren't the only ones affected by tobacco smoke. Secondhand smoke and vapor is a serious health hazard for non-smokers, especially children. Non-smokers who have high blood pressure or high blood cholesterol have an even greater risk of developing heart diseases when they're exposed to secondhand smoke. Secondhand tobacco smoke contributes to thousands of premature heart disease and lung cancer deaths. Studies show that the risk of developing heart disease is about 25 to 30 percent higher among people exposed to environmental tobacco smoke at home or work. Secondhand smoke promotes illness, too. Children of smokers have many more respiratory infections than do children of non-smokers. Cigarettes, e-cigarettes and tobacco products contain many dangerous toxins. The best thing you can do for your health is to quit tobacco entirely. Don't spend the rest of your life chained to a nicotine addiction. Thousands of people kick the habit every year, and you can be one of them. It may not be easy, but you can do it. 10 Things to Stop Doing When You Quit Smoking 1. Don't be impatient. It is a natural tendency to quit smoking and expect to be over it within a month. That would be nice, very nice, but it doesn't work that way. Point 1. When we quit smoking, we're letting go of a habit that most of us have carried for many years, if not all of our adult lives. It's only fair to expect that breaking down the old associations that tied us to smoking and replacing them with new, healthier habits will take some time. Remember, smoking cessation is a process, not an event. Sit back, relax, and think of time as one of your best quit buddies. The more time you put between you and that last cigarette you smoked, the stronger you'll become. Have patience with yourself, and with the process. 2. Don't worry about the future. Nicotine withdrawal plays mind games with us early on in smoking cessation. We think about smoking all of the time, and we worry that we'll always miss our cigarettes. It's called, junky thinking, and we all go through a certain amount of it as we recover from nicotine addiction. For the new quitter, it can be paralyzing to think about never lighting another cigarette. Thoughts like this, if left unchecked, can easily lead to a smoking relapse. If you find yourself feeling panicked about your smoke-free future, pull out of it by focusing your attention only on the day you have in front of you. It takes practice and patience to stay in the here and now, but it can be done, and it is a great way to maintain control over your quit program. It is the truth that today is where your power to affect change in your life is, and always will be. You can't do a thing about what happened yesterday, or about what is yet to come tomorrow, but you sure can control today. We all spend so much time living in the past or the future, while the present moments of today go by unnoticed. The next time your mind wanders ahead or back, consciously pull yourself out of it by narrowing your attention to the moments you're living right now. 3. Don't be negative. It's been said that the average person has approximately 66,000 thoughts on any given day and that two-thirds of them are negative. It will probably come as no surprise that we aim many of those negative thoughts directly at ourselves. Face it, we're almost always our own worst critics. Start paying attention to your thoughts, and banish those that don't serve your best interests. Point 1. Be kind to yourself and stop lamenting the things you can't change, such as the years you spent smoking. Look at past quit attempts not as failures, but as experiences you can learn from. Think about all of the positive changes you're creating in your life by quitting tobacco now and remember to use the value of today to your advantage. 
successful long-term cessation always starts with our thoughts. Keep your eyes on the prize and develop an attitude of gratitude. We have a way of believing what we tell ourselves over and over, so don't feed yourself negatives. Affirm the changes you are working to create in your life, and action will follow more easily. 4. Don't neglect yourself. Early smoking cessation is a time when you should be taking extra care to make sure all of your physical needs are met. The following list of tips will help you weather nicotine withdrawal more comfortably. Eat a well-balanced diet Your body needs good quality fuel now as it works to flush the toxins from cigarettes out of your system. Get more rest chances are, nicotine withdrawal will leave you feeling fatigued for a few weeks. If you're tired, don't fight it. Sleep more if you can. Drink water Water is a great quit aid. It helps you detox more quickly, works well as a craving buster, and by keeping yourself hydrated, you'll feel better overall. Exercise Daily exercise benefits both physical and mental health, and it's another good way to manage cravings to smoke. Walking is a low-impact aerobic workout that is a good choice too for those of us leading inactive lives. Be sure to check in with your doctor before starting a new exercise regimen. Take a daily multivitamin cigarettes deplete our bodies of many nutrients, so give yourself the boost that a good multivitamin provides for the first few months of smoking cessation. It may help you regain your energy more quickly. Taking care of your body, especially as you move through early cessation, will help you minimize the discomforts of nicotine withdrawal. Remember, while nicotine withdrawal may not be a pain-free experience, it is a temporary phase of recovery that we all have to go through to get through. 5. Don't drink alcohol. Alcohol and tobacco go hand in hand. New quitters are tender. Putting yourself into a social setting where you're tempted to drink alcohol too soon after quitting can be dangerous. Don't rush it. The time will come when you can have a drink without it triggering the urge to smoke, but don't expect that to be within the first month, or perhaps even the first few months. We're all a little different in how we move through the process of kicking nicotine addiction, so relax any preconceived notions you might have about how long recovery should take. Instead, focus on your own situation. If there is an engagement coming up that involves alcohol and you feel nervous about that, take it as a signal to proceed with caution. Consider postponing until you're feeling stronger. And if that's not an option, work out a plan ahead of time for how you'll manage the event smoke-free. It's no exaggeration that you are working hard to save your life by quitting smoking, so give cessation the attention it deserves. Keep your quit program in the top slot of your list of priorities for as long as it takes. You should do whatever you need to do to maintain your smobriety. 6. Don't overdo it. We've talked about taking care not to neglect our physical health while going through nicotine withdrawal, but our emotional well-being is every bit as important. Stress and anger are probably two of the biggest smoking triggers we face, and they can build up and threaten our quit programs if we're not careful. Early cessation creates its own tension, and that can be overwhelming when paired with the stresses of daily life if you let it be. Point 3. Don't let yourself get run down to the point of exhaustion, and take time every single day to relieve stress with an activity that you enjoy. Whether it's time alone with a good book, a hot bath, or working on a hobby, think of this as insurance for your quit program, not as time spent selfishly. When you're well rested and calm, you are much better equipped to meet the daily challenges smoking cessation presents, so spoil yourself a little each day. 7. Don't take yourself too seriously. You will have bad days. Expect and accept that. Such is smoking cessation, and such is life. On those off days, vow to put yourself in, ignore mode. In other words, don't focus on the negative atmosphere of your thoughts. Instead, do what you can to distract and ignore your bad mood. Sometimes the best thing we can do is get out of our own way. Our minds can make small issues big and create drama out of every little thing when our moods are out of whack. When you have a bad day, use it as an excuse to pamper yourself a little. If all else fails, call it a day earlier than usual and go to bed. Nine times out of ten you'll wake up feeling 100% better the next day, 
and when you do, you'll be grateful to still be smoke-free. 8. Don't hesitate to ask for help. Statistics show that people who quit smoking with a healthy support system in place have a much higher rate of long-term success with smoking cessation. In addition to the support you might receive from friends and family, consider adding some online support to your quit program. The Smoking Cessation Forum here offers some of the best support the internet has to offer. If you or a loved one are struggling with substance use or addiction, contact the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration SAMHSA, National Helpline at 1-800-662-4357 for information on support and treatment facilities in your area. For more mental health resources, see our National Helpline database. 9. Don't think you can smoke just one cigarette. Many a good quit program has been lost to thoughts of being able to control our smoking habits. Don't fall for it. The only way to keep the beast at bay is to keep nicotine out of your system. If you decide to go ahead and smoke just one cigarette, or for just one night, chances are you'll be back to the slavery that nicotine addiction is in short order. You may even find yourself smoking more than you used to. When it comes to smoking cessation, there is no such thing as just one cigarette. They travel in packs. Just as success with smoking cessation begins in the mind, so does a smoking relapse. Always. If unhealthy thoughts of smoking come up, and you can't shake them, it's time to renew your resolve. 10. Don't forget why you wanted to quit. You quit smoking for a reason. Probably several. Don't let time and distance from the habit cloud your thinking. Keep your memory green by reviewing your reasons for quitting often. They will never be less true as time goes by, but they can feel less urgent if you're not careful. Smoking cessation is a journey. Take it one simple day at a time, and you'll find that what started out as a difficult task soon enough becomes an enjoyable challenge. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video.